break from this, folks. Do me a favor. Grab your remote control and pause this for a second. Phew. Thanks. Uh, you're probably wondering how we got into this mess, right? Well, it all started earlier today with a picnic by the lake. It was a pretty good picnic. John, Liz, the dog, and me. Oh, and the food was pretty good, too. I think I put it best when I said... I'm full. I'm full. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite if my life depended on it. And for dessert, I brought along a strawberry what? cheesecake. Okay, maybe one more bite. Garfield. Or two. Or 78. Garfield, this cheesecake is for all of us. And it's for later. <laughs> Liz and I are going for a walk around the lake. Do not eat the cheesecake while we're gone. And this is where John made his customary cheap threat. <laughs> if you do, you can walk the 20 miles home. Hey, that wasn't a bad one. <laughs> Come on, John. I need to stretch my legs. What do you think the chances are that cheesecake will be there when we get back? Oh, it'll be there. It'll probably be inside Garfield, but it'll be there. I was glad they went for a walk. Now there was nothing that could interrupt my nap. <sighs> well, almost nothing. I do not want to play a game. Oh, all right. I'll play a game. How about if we play Go Get It? You don't know how to play Go Get It? Okay, then I'll teach you. Go get it. It's my favorite game, Go Get It. If they put it on television, they'd make a fortune. Mm, that cheesecake looks mighty good. No, I need to sleep, and I don't want to walk home. I just give me a little more rest. Then again, it's only 20 miles. Anyway, while I was contemplating that dilemma, Odie was in search of his bone. Now, I wasn't there for this part, but I found out later he looked everywhere for it, in the bushes, behind rocks. There was no sign of it. He was just about ready to give up when he spotted it. It was a little wolf, just a couple of weeks old. Odie thought the wolf was very cute, but he wasn't about to let it have his bone. Well, he wasn't until he realized how hungry the little wolf was. Odie discovered the joys of sharing your food with someone else. I'll have to try that sometime. Maybe not this millennium. After a while, Odie realized that there wasn't much nourishment in that old bone. The little wolf still looked hungry. Where to get food, he wondered. Where to get food. But of course, there was only one answer. Odie brought the little wolf back to the picnic area where I was in my usual habitat, dreamland. <sighs> Odie usually doesn't do sneaky things, but I guess hanging around with me for all these years has uh, had its effect on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, John and Liz were finishing their hike. Don't you want to get back while there's still a chance of a small piece of cheesecake? You know, sometimes I don't have enough faith in Garfield. He's basically a good cat. <laughs> you watch. I'll bet the cheesecake is untouched. John was wrong. It had been touched, all right, but just not by me. Good, because I can't wait to have some of that cheesecake. Odie probably wasn't worried about what they do to him. He was worried about the little wolf. Huh? 
Just give me a small piece of cheesecake, Liz. I don't want to... Huh? We'll be small. About the size of a crumb. Garfield! Yikes! I... <laughs> How could you? How could you eat that entire cheesecake while we were away? Huh? I didn't eat the cheesecake, honest. On my honor as an overweight pussycat, I did not eat one bite of that cheesecake. Did I eat that cheesecake? No, amazingly, I did not. You're lying, Garfield. If you didn't, who did? Odie would never do anything that sneaky. John, you're not gonna make him walk home. No, but I should. I'll figure out a suitable punishment when we get home. <sighs> This feels like we didn't eat all the food. How did that happen? We got the car all packed up and we headed back to town. It was probably about then that the little wolf's mother arrived. She must have picked up the scent or something. She was pretty determined to get her baby back, no matter how far she had to follow. All the way home, I was angry. I'm innocent, I tell you. I never touched that cheesecake. The one time I didn't take the food and I'm being punished for it. <laughs> John dropped Liz off at her place and then we headed for home. I'll be over after I finish some chores. And someone else was heading for our home too. <laughs> of course, John was still mad at me. How could you? I didn't. Huh? <laughs> Bodie was worried that he'd get in trouble for giving the cheesecake to the wolf. Or maybe that somebody would put his new friend in a zoo or something. How could you? When nobody was looking, he snuck the little wolf out. Bodie told the little wolf to stay there in the garage and he'd bring him food. He was probably gonna borrow another cheesecake and they'd blame it on me. It was about then that our visitor arrived. About the time I thought John had forgiven me for the cheesecake incident. Dinner, Garfield! Well, it's about time. Maybe John finally realized I'm innocent. Of this, anyway. I'm having a porterhouse steak, baked potato with everything, glazed carrots, sautéed <laughs> mushrooms, and a dinner roll. You get Kitty Crunch dry imitation cat food. It's not fair! I'm being punished for eating an entire cheesecake, and I didn't even get to eat the entire cheesecake. That's all you're getting for the rest of the month. Oh, I'll bet Odie would enjoy that yummy piece of steak. Odie, here, boy. He's just doing this to torment me. It's working, I'm tormented. Come on, Odie, come enjoy the steak. Huh? I didn't. <laughs> The word you're looking for is wolf. What do we do, Garfield? I think it's obvious what we do. We run! So that's how we wound up being chased around John's house by a savage wolf. Do you understand now? No, 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 no. Don't unpause the video. Too late. It looks 
looks like this is it for us, Garfield. Do you have any final regrets? Yes, I regret that I didn't eat the cheesecake. <laughs> I've arranged for the pet control people to take them back to the woods where they belong. Thanks, Liz. Oh, by the way, I examined a little wolf cub. He had strawberry cheesecake in the fur around his mouth. You mean he... Uh, not Garfield? Just because I can't talk doesn't mean you can't listen to me. Come on, Garfield. I think I owe you a good meal to say I'm sorry. I think about a uh, 10 lasagna apologies in order. I make that 11. Boy. <sighs> Listen to him. Don't dogs have any dignity? I've got a surprise for you guys. A surprise? Whew, what sort of surprise? I want a surprise. Meow, 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 meow. The things I wouldn't do for a present. It better be worth it. I thought both of you could do with a little grooming before your monthly checkup with Liz. I humiliated myself for a grooming tool? Who wants to try it first? Garfield? You try it. No one touches this fur but my hairdresser. Odie! Good boy. Come over here. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Lunch tomorrow? Sure, I'd love to. Bodhi. Bodhi, yahoo. I'm bored. All that fuss over a mere brush? Whoa! You are a sad, strange little dog, Odie. Hey, Odie. Want to play kick the dog with me? <laughs> what do you mean you'd rather spend time with her? It's just a stupid brush. This is a new low, even for you, Odie. Hey, if you break up with the brush, I've got some nice nail clippers for you. <laughs> What's up? 
Do me a favor and drop that stupid breast before they see you. I refuse to be the laughing stock of the entire neighborhood. Hi, Garfield. No. Hi, Odie. No. Hey, Odie. Is that a brush you're holding? <laughs> More like an imaginary girlfriend. Look who's talking. Remind me why you always carry that teddy bear of yours everywhere. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that is just so cute. I have got to do something about that brush. <laughs> Yahoo, Yahoo. in this house. An imaginary nut, you're out. <laughs> Dogs have the attention span of a goldfish. Give it an hour and he won't remember that brush. Trust me. Ah, shoot, I'm late. Liz is gonna kill me! Oh! Odie? Odie, what on earth are you doing? Odie, stop it! Bad dog! Bad dog! <laughs> Uh, Liz? <laughs> of course I didn't forget our brunch. Uh, yep, I'm on my way. <laughs> hey, you don't happen to know a good gardener, do you? All that fuss for a stupid brush? This is ridiculous. And you don't have anything to do with the brush's disappearance, do you? <gasps> How could you think so badly of me? <sighs> okay, I did it. I got rid of that stupid brush. And I was doing Odie a favor, if you ask me. Oh, please, save it for the jury. You did it because you were jealous Odie cared about someone else. Someone else? We're talking about a brush, aren't we? For Odie, it was much more than just a brush, and you knew that, too. <laughs> nah, he'll get over it. <laughs> We're gonna need more coffee. How about earplugs? Uh, not funny. Where's my breakfast lasagna? <sighs> Sorry, Garfield. I feel way too tired to cook you anything. Okay, sleep deprivation I can actually deal with. But lasagna deprivation? That is just flat out intolerable. I gotta fix this mess. Uh, I'm sorry, man. It has bristles and a handle. Perfect. Odie will never know the difference. Oh my! Odie, look who's back. Well, that dog isn't brain dead after all. Who would have thought? Okay, fine. You won. I'll take you to your girlfriend. Uh, 
This is where the cruel deed was done. Whoopsie doopsie. I'm gonna lose one of my nine lives just for a stupid brush. <laughs> Sorry, kid. This is an emergency. Hey! I'll bring it back, I promise. Welcome aboard and fasten your seatbelt. Went for one bumpy ride. be just another greasy spot on Main Street. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Ech, barf. Dog. Bad. It can't get any worse, can it? Get out of here. <clears throat> there you are. I've been looking for you all over. Ew, gross. You two smell as if you just crawled out of a garbage disposal. <laughs> I can't smell a thing. What about you, Odie? Odie? Are you uh, free this evening? <laughs> How about dinner? me like that, Garfield. The weatherman said clear and sunny with highs in the low 80s. It always rains when they say that. 
What rotten luck. My luck's been terrible lately. No. Good. The rain's stopping. I'm going to get in a little fishing. Hey, great rainbow. You know what's at the end of a rainbow, Odie? A pot of gold. Yeah. At the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold, and it's guarded by a leprechaun. Wow! <laughs> that mutton head mutt. He actually believed that old fairy tale about the pot of gold. You know, he's going to be finding it a long way to the end of that rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> me pot of gold! Someone took me pot of gold! It never fails. Every time there's a rainbow, another one of them treasure seekers comes round. <sighs> Odie will be back soon. More bad luck. He'll probably want me to throw the stick or something. I gotta get some sleep. <sighs> no, I do not want to throw the pot of gold so you can fetch it. He does that all the time. Throw the pot of gold so I can fetch it. <laughs> it is? It is a pot of gold. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Huh? Now then, who took me pot of gold? It's his. It's his. It's his. Oh, please, little kitty. A leprechaun is nothing without his pot of gold. Please, please, please give it back. I could reward you. I could give you anything you want. Okay, I want two pots of gold. No, three. And uh, throw in a pizza while you're at it, maybe some lasagna. Hmm, I sense you'll be needing a little good luck. I can fix it, so from now on, that's all you'll be having. Nothing but good luck. Hmm. <laughs> now you're using your head, you are. Here comes the good luck spell. Whoa, that didn't feel like good luck. <sighs> oh, this is a waste of time. The rain drove the fish too far underwater. Here, Garfield, reel my line in while I go get the car. Why should I reel your line in? Why are you... Oh. Oh, I caught a fish. I caught a fish. No, I, I think he oh. caught me. Oh. It still doesn't feel like good luck. What a great catch. Garfield. You are the luckiest cat in the world. If I'm so lucky, how can I have this fish on me? I'll barbecue this up for us right now. No, I'm not lucky. For one thing, I can't eat a big fish like that without tartar sauce. And where are we going to find 100 gallons of tartar sauce? This is Trans Tartar. We're an air freight company that specializes in the transport of tartar sauce. And I'm having engine trouble. I repeat, where am I going to find a hundred gallons of tartar sauce? That stuff doesn't just fall from the oh. sky. Radio Trans Tartar advise you lighten your aircraft's weight by 100 gallons of tartar sauce. Roger. Huh? I 
still don't feel very lucky. I feel like a mackerel. Hey, maybe there is something to this lucky stuff, Ode. Like if I were to decide I wanted ice cream. Mmm, this isn't bad. You could use chocolate sauce. What I need to do is find a way to turn all this luck into money. In just a few moments, we'll pick the winning lottery number and some lucky soul will win 30 gazillion dollars. 30 gazillion dollars? This is my chance. Ah, I have my ticket, Oster. And the winning number is... Seven 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 three. What a surprise! I'm coming to you from outside the new mansion that was just purchased by Garfield, the gazillionaire cat. The palatial home has 84 rooms, more than half of which contain nothing but lasagna. What a terrific light snack! Now, uh, where's my butler? Will there be anything else, sir? Excuse me, sir. Someone is at the door. Oh, I'll get it. I haven't walked for a few days. Just being rich is great. I'm so lucky to have all this luck. Howdy, Cousin Garfield. Oh, I'm not your cousin, whoever you are. We were so happy to hear we had ourselves a rich relative. We couldn't wait to all come here and move in with you. Oh? Look at Look at here. All right, someone needs to help me get all my food in here. That's the back door doorbell. Who could that be? Garfield Cat, I'm here to get you to invest some of your 30 gazillion dollars in my great new business venture, the Electric Yo-Yo. Just a few billion and you could own a piece of this. And then invest everything else you own in my friend's business ventures. Invest in my business? I have a Invest in my business. Finally, I'm alone and no one's after my money. Mr. Garfield, I'm from the government and you owe taxes on your 30 gazillion dollars. Ah! There's a state tax, the sales tax, ah! a screaming tax. Ah! <laughs> oh! Hey, when I'm down here, I'll collect the sewer tax. <laughs> I need to get rid of all this good luck. There he is. Right there. I need to find ways to have bad luck. Walking under a ladder is bad luck. Breaking a mirror is bad luck. Invest in my business. Garfield? What's the big idea paint me black? Don't ask questions, just cross my path. Mm. Having a black cat cross your path is bad luck. I must have gotten rid of all that good luck by now. Well, I guess I'll get some lunch. Maybe a sardine sandwich? I still have my good luck. Hody, do you remember where you found that pot of gold? Uh, yeah, yeah. Take me there right now. I have to get that leprechaun to take back all this good luck before it destroys me. So, you want I should remove the good luck spell, do you, kitty cat? Oh, please, please, please. You do understand. If I take away the good luck, I also take away the 30 gazillion dollars. Take it, please. Have it your way, pussycat. Oh, 
Woody. I think my good luck is gone. There's one way to check. Boy, I wish a couple of lasagnas would fall from the sky. It's gone. Come on, boy. Let's go get a couple of lasagnas the unlucky way, making John buy them. He sure learned a valuable lesson, that cat did. Look, here's what you make of it. He got that, and me? I got another 30 gazillion dollars! I am so lucky! Mr. O'Rourke, I'm from the government, and you owe taxes on your 30 gazillion dollars. Uh, let's see, state tax, nine gazillion, so sales lucky. tax, four million, so exhaling tax. <laughs> Can't sleep either, huh? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh! Garfield, I'm trying to clean. John, I'm trying to sleep. I'll vacuum later. Right now, I'll do the laundry. I can't think of anything more annoying than the sound of a vacuum cleaner. Just thought of something. They're doing spring cleaning over where I live, so I thought I'd come spend the day with you. <sighs> <laughs> Are you glad to see me? Normal, I'm so glad to see you. I'm gonna roll out the red carpet. Roll out the red carpet? Really? For me? What? <laughs> Garfield, is this how someone rolls out the red carpet to welcome someone? No, it's how we roll out the red carpet to get rid of someone. Hasta la vista, baby. I thought he'd never stop. <sighs> Better do Garfield's blanket while I'm at it. Uh, Pookie, you stay here. I wonder what kind of bleach is good for lasagna stains. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh. That wasn't very nice, Garfield. That was kind of the idea, Nermal. You don't make a guy feel very welcome. You know, you should have a place in your home for guests like me. We do. <laughs> The perfect place. You know, Garfield, I'm beginning to get the idea I'm not wanted around here. Really? I can't imagine why. You'll be sorry. One of these days, Garfield's gonna be nice to me. <sighs> what? <gasps> and I think today's the day. <laughs> I'm <sighs> time for my pre-afternoon nap nap. This is the nap I take to warm up for my afternoon nap. I just washed the blanket in your bed, Garfield. <gasps> but now it doesn't smell like lasagna. 
Oh, well. Guess I'll just have to spill some more. <sighs> hey, something's missing. No, someone is missing. Pookie, Pookie, Pookie. Oh, Pookie. Oh, well, he'll turn up. It's not like I can't live without him for two minutes. Yes, it is. Pookie, Pookie, where are you? Pookie, are you in here? Pookie, are you in here? Pookie? Oh, Pookie. No. Pookie, are you in here? So that's what happened to my corned beef sandwich. I've been at it since 6 a.m., but my spring cleaning is all done, Liz. The house is absolutely spotless, and I'm... Oh, Pookie! What? But, but, but I just... I'll call you back, Liz! Pookie, come out wherever you are. Where is he, Arbuckle? Fess up. What could you be looking for so... Oh, I know. It's Pookie. Oh! Meow. Hand him over, Arbuckle, if you know what's good for you. I took Pookie out of your bed so I could wash the blanket. And I put Pookie right here on the... Huh? Hmm, that's funny. I put him right there. I'm waiting. Oh, you know what must have happened? I must have accidentally knocked him into the cardboard. You cad. <gasps> I don't see him anywhere in here. But then I emptied this into the trash cans outside. Don't worry, Pookie. I'm coming to save you. Pookie, where are you, Pookie? There's no Pookie in here. Garfield, I'm sorry if I accidentally threw Pookie out, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I can't believe I'll never see my little Pookie again. I'll never see his smiling face, never hear his friendly voice. Okay, so he doesn't say much, but he was my pal. Who could do such a thing? Who could be so thoroughly rotten as to take my beloved Pookie? <laughs> you didn't. I did. Found him in the trash, right where you dumped me. This calls for diplomacy. It calls for intelligent, reasoned approach. You give me back my Pookie or I'll mail you to Abu Dhabi in a box smart. Please bend, fold, and mutilate. You only want to call me Garfield, and you'll never see Pookie again. You can have him back on one condition. You have to be nice to me. How nice? Real nice. You wouldn't settle for almost nice? You be real nice to me the rest of the day, and I'll show you where I hid Pookie. Grr, growl, look at disgust. You win. Real nice. All right. Ah. Being nice to normal, it's, it's so unnatural. I need a cookie, or two, or 37. <sighs> what? Bloodhound! Put that nose of yours to some use and track down whoever it is who took all the cookies. It wasn't me. What am I gonna do? Normal in my bed with a stomach full of my cookies? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Garfield, please don't shoot me in outer space. Too good for him. Garfield, please don't let the sharks eat me. <laughs> Nah, too kind. Plus, it would make the shark sick. Let me think. Garfield, please don't make me watch televised golf games. Yes. Oh. You're not being nice to me. You'll never see Pookie again. Pookie. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to Nermalodi. Absolutely nothing. Huh? Oh. You know, Garfield, as impossible as it may seem, I think yeah. I'm getting cuter. Oh. Don't you agree? <laughs> yes, Normal. I truly am the cutest kitty cat in the whole world. Don't you agree? <laughs> yes, Normal. You know, I want to hear you say it. Say, yes, Normal, you're the 
cutest kitty cat in the whole world. <laughs> yes, Nermal. You're the cutest... Excuse me. For just one minute. <laughs> yes, Nermal. You are indeed the cutest kitty cat in the whole country. World. Excuse me. World. World. Eh, whatever. Thanks, Garfield. Hey, John's serving lasagna after he finishes re-cleaning the house. I think it would be nice if you let me have all yours. Ooh, meow. That's it. I can't take any more of this. Ah! I didn't want to do it. Not even to normal, but I have to. I'm sending an email. I'm inviting John's cousin, Drusilla Minerva, to come visit. <laughs> now, who could that be? I just finished cleaning the house again. Drusilla! Minerva! Hi, Cousin John! We came to visit! Oh, look! There's a cute kitty! <gasps> Hello, little, little kitty, kitty cat! cat. <laughs> He's so cute! Very cute! Isn't he the cutest kitty you've ever seen? Absolutely! But he can be even cuter! Lucky we brought our makeup kits! Let me out of here! You've got to save me from them. Sorry, cute one, but uh, you're on your own. But you promised to be nice to me. I'm being nice to you. They're the ones who aren't being nice to you. We need the shampoo and a rinse and eyeliner. Sleet his ears, wash his fur, curl his tail, let the ever cute. Garfield, please. She, I... Uh, I'd help you, Nermal, but I haven't been myself since Pookie disappeared. He's in the hollow tree in the backyard! And we can dye him turquoise! There you are, my friend. <laughs> I'll help Nermal after Pookie and I get reacquainted. Don't bother. <laughs> Well, Odie, I got Pookie back, and I never have to be nice to Nermal again. Everything worked hey. out fine. There's another kitty! Uh, no. Well, Let me go! No, please! We'll give him a facial! 